Okay, let's put a screen space hypto material on an avatar. I'm going to be using one of the preset ones. And please make sure if you're using the preset ones to make a copy of the material by pressing Control D while having it selected. Otherwise, you might lose your um, changes to the material if you decide to update the package. I'm going to be using this material here, so let me make a copy of it and drag it into my Wicker Beast uh, folder over here. The important part of the setup for your avatar is to know what mesh to put the material on. I recommend putting it on the default Unity cube. So just making a new object, selecting cube, and putting it on the cube. No, but like, I didn't put it on the cube right now. What happened? Actually, well, you put it on the skybox. It's a bit weird how this works. Um, I'm not sure what Unity is doing here, but you're going to want to select and manually drag the screen space material into your render. So let's do that. And if you do end up doing something like this where I have here uh, and you want to reset your skybox, you can go into window, uh, lighting settings, and uh, change the skybox material to something that it was before. So usually this is like default um, skybox, right? Um, so yeah, be careful to not do that. <laughs> but if we go into our if our box right now, then as you can see, it, it works. It works fine. We have this. We have the uh, everything set up properly. If you don't want to use a cube, you could also use uh, a quad. That'll work perfectly fine. However, calling may be more of a problem with the quad, but whatever you do, please do not use the sphere. It's not going to work with the sphere. Uh, and also, it doesn't really make sense to use a sphere either. Um, as you can see, it just doesn't work at all with the sphere. Uh, a sphere has uh, a bunch of vertices and a bunch of triangles, and you don't need those for a screen space. So to have volume, please use the cube. It's going to have less triangles to render, and everybody's going to thank you for... Uh, not using up more of their VRAM and not using more up more of their GPU. Now let's put this on our avatar. Um, this is going to depend on what you want to do with the screen space shader, where you want to put it, etc. I'm just going to put it on uh, the right hand of my avatar. So let's first of all expand the hierarchy of our, uh, of our avatar. And then what I've done here is I've clicked on the arrow next to the armature uh, by holding down Alt, which will expand the whole armature. Now let's find the hand R. So this is going to be the right hand bone. And I'm just going to drag the cube into hand R. And it's over here right now, but we can fix that by resetting the position. And now it's centered on there. And I'm also going to scale this down. So actually, if I scale down the cube here, um, as you can see, the radius of the of, of when the screen space kicks in won't change. That's because the radius of the mesh isn't tied to that. Um, if you want to change when the screen space kicks in, you can select the material, go into screen space and click on fade in, enter editor, select the mesh, and then adjust these bounds here. If you're in, if you're in transparent mode, you'll see you start and end distance as well. And you'll see this these end and start spheres, which you can adjust. And let's say, um, I'm going to keep this being transparent and I'm going to adjust this to be ending there and starting there. The end just means that it's gonna be completely visible at the end and the start is when it's gonna start kicking in to be visible, right? So this is something that I'd like. And also please keep in mind that um, you are not going to be immune to the screen space shader. So you. If you're going to put this on your hand or something, make sure to not do something like this, because if your viewport is over here and you're looking at next to the cube, right, you're going to start seeing it. And also another important note is that you need to have the mesh in your sight for the screen space to take effect. It's not just about being in the radius or not. You need to have this be in sight, right? So if I want to, if I, if I actually want to have like a radius like this and still have the screen, sp screen space be visible if I'm not looking at it with this big of a radius, then what I need to do is I need to increase the size of the cube here. So now I'm not even looking at the cube. I'm not looking at my hand, but I'm still inside the cube, which means it won't get cold. So that's what you want to do there. But uh, for my setup, I don't want to do that. I'll do a small cube and I'll make a smaller radius. 
Something like that. Okay. And maybe in case you want to like visualize uh, like where this cube is, um, you can add another mesh here. Like for example, uh, when I was testing, I made another cube. And it's going to be very big, which is why we don't see it. I just made it smaller and gave it a transparent material. Uh, so I just made a yeah, standard material, set the set it to be transparent and decreased its alpha, then dropped it on here and kind of matched the scale by copying this transform component and pasting it over here. And so this is a good way when I was testing to visualize the bounds of, of the screen space. But maybe you want to do something more advanced. Uh, uh, I've seen people have uh, entire masks that they use here instead of the cube. And those masks kind of follow uh, the heads of people around uh, that they put the mask on. Um, so you can do some creative stuff with this. And at this point, you can just upload the avatar and it'll be all set up.